So what are you doing, William? Well, um, grab a hold of a couple of tips of cannabis, and that is a, as a good dose for a single individual. In the past, you could slice them up if you want to uh, turn them into little strips, but you can just take these, roll them up into a small ball, put it between your jaw and cheek, and the saliva will soften it over the next couple of minutes. Um, it releases the uh, terpenes, which are the aromatic element and the cannabinoids and flavonoids. And every time you squeeze your cheek, it'll let out a burst of those uh, elements from the plant. Um, and once it's fully saturated, uh, you can generally keep it um, in there for two to three hours. When there's absolutely uh, no more flavor being generated when you squeeze it with your cheek, then you can go ahead and swallow it. And if it's a little too coarse, then you can take it and spit it out, come back and grab a few more leaves. So two or three times a day, grab a leaf or two or three, depending on their size. Um, and what that does is it delivers these uh, terpenes and uh, cannabinoids into the mouth where they're absorbed through the mucosa in the mouth. And the good point of that is that whatever is absorbed in the mouth, when it comes to the liver, 90% of it bypasses the liver. Only 10% is shunted off where it is uh, metabolized. If you swallow it, um, what's absorbed from the intestine, um, almost 100% of the intestinal absorption is shunted through the liver where it's metabolized. So if you don't have access to a lot of cannabis, you want to use the oral absorption route because you're going to get a much higher percentage of the active ingredients out of the plant. That's fascinating. Can you show us a close-up of the cannabis that chew? In and No, just like, show us again how, exactly how many leaves. So you, you find a couple of, of small tips until so there's three or four very, some leaves are large, these are very small. You're not a very good grower, are you? Well, we've had, we just got a brand new roof on, it was pretty rough in here for a while. So this is about the amount of leaf material that you would need um, to give yourself a So good even if you don't have a lot of material and your grow isn't going perfectly and you have a limited number of plants, you can still get the cannabinoids that you need, correct? Yes, and, and this is the most excellent form. And that's all it takes? And, and from after 20, 30 years of studying and researching and reading, this is the best way to use the plant because... And why exactly is it the best way? Um, because in its raw state, the medicinal acidic cannabinoids are all present, as well as the terpenes. The terpenes are the aromatic elements that leave when you dry it and store it. So this is the most potent the leaf is ever going to be is when it's picked It's up. the strongest before you've manipulated it by heating it or breaking it down in any way. Storing it, drying it, whatever you do over time is going to affect the quality. Does that mean it's going to make you much higher? Um, there is, uh, for 99.99% of people, there is no psychoactivity. Um, I've had a couple of patients out of 8,000 over 10 years that said they thought they felt a little bit. Really good chance that they've had cannabis in the back seat of their car where it was heated up for a couple hours when they went in shopping. Um, you can almost be assured that there is no psychoactivity when you're using raw cannabis. So you wouldn't have to deal with the high and you would be able to use that amount for what kinds of problems? Um, this is this is a dietary amount, so this is not an amount for an acute situation. So you're. What if you have MS, like I do? If you had MS, I would or start, lupus, I would start out with maybe double this amount at least for for six months. Then you'd probably be able to back it down. This would be a good steady dose once your uh, reserves are kind of. Double saturated. that once a day. Um, I would I would double that at least twice a day. I mean, in the, initial pay, in the initial part, you want to have access to a, a, a significant amount of it. How many hours apart? Um, I, if you're doing it twice a day, I would do it like morning and early afternoon, because obviously you're not going to want this in your mouth when you go to sleep. How long did you say? An hour to three hours? Well, you can, you can leave it in five or six. Once there is no more flavor, then you can go ahead and swallow it or spit it out, whatever is your preference. 
there is residual benefit in the plant, so I'd prefer you swallow it because that way you'll continue to extract whatever is left in the material. What if I want all the fiber and none of the taste? Well, then, then you're going to want to um, mix it with something to cover that flavor because it is, it's, it is a significant flavor when you use the raw canvas by itself. So we could put that in our next video. Yes, I mean, you can mix it with any number of aromatic uh, vegetables or fruits to, to cover the, uh, the aroma and the flavor. But if you just want to get the cannabis in the simplest way, with the least amount of material and fuss, and you want to start doing it right away, you could do this today. today. And it's also one of the best ways that you can do it. It, def it definitely is, because it just continues to come out of the leaf in your mouth, you absorb it, so you continually drizzle these compounds into the serum. Um, because they're fatty, they tend to be removed and stored and then re reintroduced to the serum. So this, this amount that you have in your mouth will actually provide uh, metabolites for three to four times the amount of time that you actually have it in your mouth. Well, this is fascinating. How can you be sure you know what you're talking about? Um, you know, I recommend going to ICRS if you can uh, get in these days. That's a little more International different. Cannabinoid Research Society? Yeah, it's, uh, you can come in as a, as a guest. Uh, a lot of information there. You can also look at their uh, symposia online. It's the, the most amazing thing on the internet is you can download this 150-page uh, book. That's that saying a lot. The internet is wide and vast. Yeah, but this, this, to get this symposia free is the best free thing on the internet, bar none. You can also find it by going to Leaves of Grass. Leaves of Grass, or send us an email, askdrbill at gmail.com, and we'll send you 2019-2020, uh, what are the most current symposia are. Or give us a call at 707-961-1420. 1420. Well, this has been fascinating, and I've appreciated spending time in the garden with you, Dr. Courtney. We'll look forward to bothering you again. Pleasure. Do you have any final words? Pleasure's mine. Aww.